it's Wendy here from Wendy Wise Beauty. Thanks for stopping by and for keeping me company on my channel today. Guys, for those of you who are new, I do welcome you to my channel and I do hope you will find my content to be beneficial and you will consider subscribing in the near future. For my returning subscribers, thank you guys so much for coming again and again and for supporting me on my channel. I do appreciate every single last one of you and your comments and all of the wonderful emails with advice or thank yous that you guys are sending to me periodically for all of the stuff I am posting on this channel. Anyway guys, with this I would just like to tell you this is going to be a very special video because I received PR. This is PR from a product that I reviewed about a month ago. I loved it and the brand reached out to me and sent me the rest of their products. Today this video will be about the Queen Musia brand. Like I said, I included the products from this brand in a video about a month ago. It was the same video where I reviewed the Estee Lauder bronze goddess bronzer. I will link this video to this one. In that video, I did review the Queen Musia lipstick and also the Caring Mascara. I did get a lot of comments from you guys about the products, especially about the mascara because it is a Caring Mascara which is supposed to promote um, eyelash growth. The people at Queen Musia, they did reach out to me and they did send me all of the remaining shades of their lipsticks. I am so excited about this because I did love the product, the first lipstick that I reviewed about a month ago. I am wearing this lipstick shade on my lips. It's called Ada or Ada, A-D-A, and I have also the mascara on. But I am going to demo all of the lipsticks for you guys. But I would just like to tell you a bit about the Queen uh, Musia brand. They do ship uh, to most countries and it says the Queen Musia products are mindfully formulated. It says we firmly believe that everything put on the body has an impact. This is why we wanted to create a product that is functional and beneficial at the same time, avoiding the use of harmful ingredients. Their policy, it is also uncompromising performance. The matte cream lipsticks has a luxury matte texture that is extremely lightweight, but is also nourishing and hydrating. Once applied, the lipstick adapts to your natural lip color and creates a voluminous effect. This is what they call clean glam. And also it says their products have a stellar design beyond your imagination. Guys, I had a lot of fun with this in the video that I created uh, last month. Further, it says clean glam, chic colors and understated sophistication. All six colors of their lipsticks were inspired by great literature, art and nature. These elegant and classy colors perfectly suit all skin tones and all 
ages. The Queen Musia brand at the moment, they only have these six lipsticks and this mascara. The mascara is called Queen Musia 2053 and the color is simply black. So I removed uh, Ada and I am going to now um, demo for you the rest of the colors, the other five colors. This is the packaging and on the packaging the color of the lipstick, I don't think you can see it because it is quite light, but the color of the lipstick, it is written on here. And this one I am going to demo. This one, it is called Becky Sharpie. This is what Becky Sharpie looks like. This is what Becky Sharpie looks like on my skin tone. It is a hydrating matte lipstick with a rich creamy texture. Becky Sharpie, it is described as a Royal Dameson Jam. This is a cream lipstick formula that delivers a non-drying a uh, matte finish it is long lasting and it is supposed to wear comfortably and extremely lightweight on the lips i did uh, go into more detail on these lipsticks in my other video but guys i love these lipsticks so much because they are matte lipsticks but they are so creamy and comfortable on the lips. <laughs> this is not Becky Sharpie, it is Becky Sharp. I am sorry, it is sometimes so hard to read the name on the packaging because I am wearing contacts, but it is Becky Sharp. There it is. Next on the list, this one, it is called Dorian and this one, it is described as a rosy Georgian brick. This is what Dorian looks like. This is a beautiful color. Look at this. This is Dorian on my lips. The next one, it is Madame Bovary and it is a Gauguin pink. I am really excited about this one. Guys, I have not worn these lipsticks at all. And this is Madame Bovary. This one, it is a bit, I would say, light for my complexion. It is similar to Dorian, but this one is pulling a bit more cool. This is the Madame Bovary, and this one is Dorian. The next one, it is called, uh, what is it? It is called Molly Bloom. And uh, this one, it is described as a carrot fairy cake. This is a very cute description for a lipstick. And this is what Molly Bloom looks like. Guys, this is Molly Bloom. This is really different. I do not think I have any lipsticks in this color. In the mirror in front of me, it is looking, I would say, like a salmon color. So this is Molly Bloom on its own. I am going to add a gloss on top of this. And this is Molly Bloom with a uh, I added some gloss on top of this, my Chanel uh, Coco Mademoiselle. This is very pretty 
this color. It's very different, but at the same time, still very pretty. The last one, it is called Moteur and it is a Swiss balcony geranium. And this is what Moto looks like. This is Moto. Guys, this one, it is gorgeous. I must say, from all of the lipsticks, this color it is my favorite, this motto. This is absolutely stunning, this color. This is so gorgeous, I added on top of the blush that I had, my Danessa Myricks Jubilee blush, because I thought it would harmonize with this lipstick perfectly. Guys, this color, it is just stunning. I love this. These lipsticks, they are creamy, they are easy to apply, and they feel so comfy on the lips. When I reviewed these lipsticks a month ago, I did tell you guys that this is a matte lipstick, but it does not behave like a matte lipstick because it is so nice and creamy on the lips. It is matte, but it is not sucking the life out of the lips. Sometimes matte lipsticks can look so unattractive, especially on women with mature skin like myself, because we do need a little bit of juiciness. And I do get it from these lipsticks. So guys, these are all of the lipsticks, the design, it is really beautiful. I do love the color of this packaging because it is very calming on the senses. It is a nice shade of, I would say, a mint green. I am not sure if it is really mint green, but this is how. I would describe this. These lipsticks are costing 36 US dollars. They are clean, vegan, and cruelty free. It is fragrance free and it is EU and UK laws and regulations compliant. I believe the EU does have some new uh, cosmetic laws which were just introduced recently so these lipsticks do comply to these new regulations. I will leave the website of queenmusia.com. Everything will be linked in the description box. I do not have a code for you guys but they do do free shipping over 85 uh, US dollars. I also saw on the website a pop-up that they do give 10% off when you sign up. I assume when you create an account on Queen Musia. Thank you so much guys for watching. Do check out the brand and the website of Queen Musia. Should you get any of these products, please let me know. This is not a sponsored video per se. I did receive the products free of charge from Queen Musia. Please check out the website. Do let me know if you should decide to purchase anything and how you got along with the products that you purchased. Take care, have a lovely rest of day and hope to see you guys again soon on my channel. Thank you to the team of Queen Musia for sending me these wonderful products. Tschüss!